Okay, so Jersey Beauty Company, when it started, started in this room right here. So, as you can see, it's now been converted to a little office. But this is where it all began, folks. A big, massive, multi-million pound company started in a little tiny room. And for the longest time, operated out of here. You should have seen it, man. It was stacked with boxes and you couldn't move. And it was incredible, really, the operation. And now it's this nice little beautiful office with a few surfboards in. But it's amazing, right? You can start in the smallest spaces. And where your company can go, it can just totally explode so do not as they say despise the day of small beginnings because great things can happen in small places excuse me while i just figure out the route to this house it's not not a straightforward is it it is sunday evening and Dad's taxi service is in full operation tonight. Tomorrow I am catching a train to London. I am going to London because I have a board meeting for Tradecraft PLC. I'm, uh, I'm one of the directors on the board, one of the non-exec directors. And so we have our quarterly board meeting, which will last pretty much the entire day. Okay, so made it to London. Pretty painless train journey on the way down. And I'm now off to my board meeting. I have this thing when I come to London. That I avoid the tube wherever possible, right? It was quite a distance between the train station and where the meeting is. It's about four miles and I've only got an hour to get there, so I can't walk it. I don't have an electric skateboard like Casey Neistat. So I did catch the tube about two thirds of the way. I'm about a mile away from where I need to be. I've got 35 minutes to get there. So a nice little walk, exploring some of the amazing streets of London. It looks a lot better than the tube. You get to see some amazing architecture, some great sites, hopefully some really nice cars. I'm not quite sure what I think to that building there. Looks like it's wearing these odd little hats. If you're a fan of the James Bond movies, you will know this got blown up in uh, one of Daniel Craig's James Bond movies, but look, they fixed it now. So whilst I'm walking to this meeting, I thought I would answer this week's question of the vlog. So this week's question of the vlog is how do you deal with discouragement? That is a great question, let me tell you, because, you know, hands up, who has been discouraged in the last year? Or maybe who's been discouraged in the last 20 minutes. You've only got to look at a poster or a picture of the perfect, you know, human being and you're discouraged, right? Or you might get discouraged at work, especially if you're an entrepreneur or in the family. It doesn't matter wherever, discouragement is all around us. It attacks us on every plane. So how do we deal with it? Well, one answer is to give yourself a pep talk. What do I mean by that? Well, I'm not talking about looking at yourself in the mirror and, you know, doing one of those weird things where you tell yourself you can do it all the time. Hey, if that floats your boat, go for it. But pep talk, let's take it as an acronym. P for perspective. Perspective is critical and it is super, super powerful. Especially when you get discouraged, you become quite inward looking, right? And you become aware of you and what the problem is and all that sort of stuff. But perspective enables us to step back and see the bigger picture and actually put what we're discouraged about in some kind of context. I don't know about you, I find that super helpful. E is for encourage. So if you think about the word discourage, it means to take courage away. Yeah, there is an absence of courage, right? And we all need courage, especially as a businessman, especially as a dad and a husband. We need courage, we need courage to make it through the day. So discouragement is taking away that courage. So you need to encourage yourself after you've got some perspective, build your courage up, right? Get that courage back in. 
You can do that a number of different ways. I find it's great to talk to people who encourage me and just hang out with them. There are some phenomenal people out there who know what it is to encourage. And likewise, always look for opportunities to encourage other people. But do what you need to do to build up your own courage, right? We have perspective, we have encouragement, and finally, in our pep talk, we have get productive. I appreciate that starts with a G, but it just sounded a bit more, you know, impactful than productivity. <laughs> so get productive, take action, do something which gets you out of feeling discouraged. And so if you're feeling discouraged about an event, what can you do to make that better? What can you action can you take, even if it's a little one, get productive. So that's my simple three-step plan for dealing with discouragement. Get some perspective, get some encouragement, and get productive. That's like a cool shop. We have reached our destination. Nice little walk through London. Managed to avoid the rain. Oh, it's a beautiful thing. Heading home, train station on the way home. It was a good meeting. I really enjoyed that meeting. Can't wait to get home though. My keyboard doesn't work. Why does it not work? Because I went and spilled water all over it earlier. And it seems to not like that. What doesn't work? 